Hello, this is Michael from H2Flow. Today we're going to talk about the Technofungi DreMed sludge dewatering bagging unit. This is a very simple device that uh, is used for small dewatering uh, projects where there isn't that much sludge uh, to dewater and you want to do it in a very economical uh, way. So the unit is comprised of several components. There is the, the main machine. It also comes with uh, bags uh, that uh, are used uh, as uh, disposable units. Uh, twist ties, a special tool, along with uh, a special cart. So we'll explain now how the unit actually works. So I'll remove the cover, which is typically installed during the dewatering phase. So it's a very simple, light fiberglass cover. And inside here, this is a two-bag model. You will see that there are two cages and there is uh, the header where the sludge is actually introduced and the, uh, the sludge actually flows into bags that are attached to these stubs that are connected to the headers. So the unit employs these special dewatering bags which allow the sludge to enter the bag and the water to filter out. Uh, the water is then collected at the bottom of the unit where it flows out this uh, outlet. So the installation of the bag is very simple. So we just open this cage, which is a nice stainless steel cage. We unlock the collar, which actually holds the bag and flows from the top header uh, stub. And so we, we position the bag around the, the stub like this, and we latch the collar. There we go. So now we just push, cut the bag so that it, um, is, it's on the bars, and we close the cage. So we close the cage. So at this point, we're ready to introduce the sludge into the top of the box, into the header, and the sludge will flow inside the bag. The water that's filtered will come out of the bag and be collected into this bottom hopper and uh, flow out this bottom drain. And that is a process that can be continually, continuously done several times. So we can fill the bag, the sludge will be captured, the water will filter out, and, and just keep going until the bag uh, cannot uh, accept any more sludge. And this can also be, if you have the ability to leave it for a few hours, you will see that more water will filter out, and then you can fill the bag again. And at that point, when the bag is really saturated and you cannot uh, put any more into it, then you can uh, un uncouple it, you can disassemble the you can remove it from the unit. And this is how you remove it. So you, you, um, uncall, uh, you unlock, the, unlock the bag, and you bunch it together, and you put one of these twist ties with a special tool around the bag. And then you, so you use a special tool to twist the bag uh, top together and close it off. And then you, since the bag will be heavy, there is a special cart available that you utilize. And you position the cart underneath the bag. And it has a crank handle. You position it under the bag. And then you can lift it off the you can lift it off the bottom, and you can uh, remove it with the cage as well. So you just, at that point, remove the bag with the cart, and you put the bag maybe on a pallet or in a storage area where it will further dry over a period of time. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, please give us a call. And once again, Michael from H2Flow, signing off. Thank you.